first house on the right after Custom House Road for an 80-year-old male with chest pains and shortness of breath. He has a history of heart attack and has taken the Aspirin Pro Protocol 2011. Okay there, Tackleberry. We're going to show you how to take your handheld Baofeng UV5R or similar radio and turn it into a scanner for fire, police, and EMS in three minutes or less. And before we jump in, let's get some of the legal stuff out of the way first. It is 100% legal for you to use any radio to listen, to listen to anything that that radio receives. Not to transmit on but to listen to anything at any time. And considering you're going to be monitoring police, fire, EMS, and possibly some other government channels, do not, under any circumstance, transmit on those frequencies. Don't do it. People's lives are at stake when it comes to fire, police, and EMS. There's about three different ways we can do this. I'm going to show you the fast, easy way first, and then we'll go over the others. For the fast, easy way, we're going to need three components other than our radio. We're going to need a programming cable, a piece of software called Chirp, and a laptop or computer to plug your radio into. And don't worry if you don't have a computer or you're not comfortable with plugging your radio into a computer and using that software, we can still program it using the front panel. It just takes quite a bit more time and effort to, uh, to get that, and there's a couple features that you're not going to have by programming it through the front panel. Links for uh, Genuine Cable and the software will be in the description below. The Chirp program is a free download. Okay, assuming that the Chirp software installed correctly for you, we're going to plug our programming cable in, USB, into the computer, the other end into the headphones port of your particular radio. You want to make sure that your radio is powered off when you plug that in, and when you turn it on, you should not hear any of the familiar sounds coming out of your radio. That allows you to know that you've got that installed correctly. So after that, we're going to take and click on radio and download from radio. Now you'll have uh, the port that you're going to need to select for the cable, the vendor, whoever makes your particular radio, and the model. Then you're going to click OK and click OK again. This is going to read whatever's on your radio. This has been a factory reset radio, so it's not going to have much of anything on it. The next thing we're going to do is click back onto radio again and query source and radioreference.com. Put your username and password for radioreference.com. And the zip code I'm using today is for Sioux City, Iowa. Why on God's green earth did I pick Sioux City, Iowa? I have no idea. Then we'll click on OK. And it's going to query the site. And it's going to fetch all of the frequencies that are available for us. And then after that's done, we're going to press and hold the control key and then press A. Then, while still holding control, we're going to press C, and that's going to copy all that information for us. Then at the top, this is Baofeng 5RM. That's because of the particular radio I'm using. Yours will change depending on what radio you are using. Click on that tab, press and hold the control key, and then push A again. That's going to highlight everything. And then while remaining, press down on the control key. You'll press V, and that's going to paste everything in, and it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite and hit yes. This is also showing us that some DMR is not supported for this radio, so some frequencies that are DMR are going to be excluded. Click OK. Then we're going to click on a radio, and then upload to radio. All our information should be the same, then click OK, OK again, and now it's sending that data to the radio. After that sent, your radio is going to reset, and then we are off to the races. Another way to do this without having a premium account is we'll go to radioreference.com, we'll go over databases, and click on RR database. Then we'll click on browse. I'll go here to Iowa and Woodbury County. And if we scroll down, we can see all the frequencies that we're going to put in manually. 
So to manually enter the frequencies in through chirp, you would go to radio, click download from radio, and then that little spreadsheet, if you're familiar with Excel, it's very similar to that. You'll click into one of the cells, you will enter in the frequency that you want, and then the name that corresponds with that frequency, and then the mode, if it's FM or AM. Generally, these are all going to be FM with the exception of some of the stuff in the air band. And you would do that manually for each line for each frequency that you wanted to scan. Then after you've got all your frequencies manually entered in line by line, you would then click the upload to radio just like we did previously. All right, so to put a frequency in manually, one, five, five, two, five, zero. We'll go to menu at this point after we're in the VFO mode. Menu. And for me, it's option 30. Menu, memory channel. And let's just make this memory channel 999. That's gonna ask us for the receiving channel. Menu. Oh, not fast enough. Memory channel. Receiving memory. Yep, and then if there's no offset, we can just do it again. Memory channel. Transmitting memory. So trans so that's both receive and transmit on that same frequency. And now... Channel mode. Channel 999. All programmed in. You can do this for as many channels as need be. But as you can see, it would be time consuming to go through there, but it's totally doable. Now next up, if you've got this program by Chirp, go menu. into your menu, you'll see MDFA, and we're gonna wanna change that to name. Confirm. And then go up to MDFB. Confirm do the same and now we have the names in there now this is only done if you've programmed it through chirp there's no way to put that name in there if you've done it manually through the panel yourself and the next thing we want to do is come down here and press and hold the pound key scanning begin and now we are scanning all the way through and we have turned our little radio into an effective scanner all right, I think that just about does it, but uh, one more thing. Yeah, every time I try to do recording. Yes, baby! I think we need a new washer and dryer. We don't need a washer and dryer. The ones we have are fine. Let's see about that shit. Yeah, that was a resident on the right path. The family. The caller is advising that her stove and her, correction, her dryer and washer are both on fire. Who orders a shovel, tarp, and duct tape for curbside pickup? And what kind of name is Commodium? 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. Showing Bush. Coverage code 3. Thanks, Ted. Yeah, 2514. Can't transmit on tag 2. 